Hello everyone, you're watching Cricket Next. I am Surama Kashik. Uh, well, I hope that you're enjoying the T20 World Cup 2024. A few days back, Team India defeated Pakistan in a low-scoring thriller. But right now, we're hearing reports and we have seen comments how former Pakistan players are reacting towards Pakistan's defeat uh, in a low-scoring thriller. Now, our former Pakistan wicketkeeper batter Kamran Akmal made a controversial comment around Ashdeep Singh's religion. What was the comment about? and how did Harbhajan Singh react to it? Let's hear it out from uh, CNN News 18 Managing Editor, Mr. Anand Narsiman. Anand, when we talk about India-Pakistan, we all know that uh, controversies follow. But this time around, this is a comment on religion, especially on Ashleep Singh's religion, Sikhism. What do you have to say about uh, such kind of comments? Good. It is also the tone and tenor in which the comment has been made. And it also shows what the common Pakistani attitude towards a, a non-Muslim is. I think that's where it stems from. Uh, you know, fun and jest, uh, Sardarji, Barabaje, and there have been a lot of jokes which have been made in the past. But that's a different uh, aspect altogether where you take out personality and characteristics of every community and have uh, is said in fun. But this was being said by somebody who's a Pakistani international cricketer. And it was being said during match analysis. Arshdeep Singh did a fair job and he did a fantastic job in trying to curtail the Pakistani onslaught. And also... Uh, He's, he's a talent in our country. Now, the fact is that the tone adopted by Kamran Akmal and the fact that he reiterated the joke and tried to, and they all had a good laugh at it, shows the fact that there is a huge amount of insensitivity. Because imagine, had uh, will Kamran Akmal say something like this about uh, anybody who is a Muslim? Uh, that That's a straightforward question. The, will they make, will they dare to make jibes at a fellow Muslim? Uh, and, and pass jokes about this. See, that's something that they he, he knows that he will be roasted immediately if he does that. See, that yeah. that's the difference. And then here they get away. Now, Harvajan Singh very rightly turned around and also made a matter of history. And there is a certain, uh, you know, historic angle to this. All of uh, what is Pakistan today and what is what is also Afghanistan used to be part yeah. of India, used to be part of Bharat. It was greater, it was all of Bharat at that point in time. And throughout the 1500s, 1600s, 1700s, 1800s, it's the, it's the Sikhs who guarded our borders. And that's what uh, Harbhajan Singh said, that you wouldn't have been alive, your own generations wouldn't have been alive, hadn't Sikhs laid down their lives. The Battle of Saragari is something which is evident and which is documented. And there are so many such battles where a handful of Sikhs guarded our borders, guarded our posts, uh, be it under British rule or be even before and after that. Uh, the, the battles yeah. fought by Raja Ranjit Singh and, and uh, many others who are, uh, you know, the glorious history of the Sikhs itself shows that they were, they are born to defend, they were born to protect people. And that's what Harbhajan Singh said. And he said that, you know, it is, it is a shame that Bilkul. you are you are using hmm. something like this. We should also credit Kamran Akmal that he immediately turned around and he apologized to Harbhajan Singh. He didn't continue hmm. to say, listen, what I've said is in jest and if you can't take a joke, then go take a, take a walk. No, he didn't say that. He said, I'm sorry, I heard sentiments because he realized the backlash that he's going to get. He realized that this is this is going to snowball into a huge issue for Kamran Akmal himself. But yeah. one must, one must, and and, and because you know I, I love sports and I've I've had a I've started my career in sports, but now today I'm I'm saddling news and I'm a student of history and I'm a student of our own civilization. One has to realize that the entire Sikh population in 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 Pakistan and Afghanistan was wiped out post partition. They are yeah. less than they are less than less than one percent of the population today. At a time when they were about eight, nine, seven, eight, six, seven percent, a lot of them uh, they were given two choices: either either your saris kalam or you read the kalma. Hmm. So so that's what was told to them, and they were all forcefully converted. This entire lot of Punjabi-speaking uh, Sunni Muslims that you see in Pakistan today, uh, a huge lot of them are third-generation Muslims. They they all trace yeah. their own ancestors uh, back to Sikhi and back to Sikhism. The the biggest running roughshod over Sikhism has been done by the Pakistanis. And they are using Sikhism via this entire Khalistan game to drive a wedge between Sikhs and India, uh, uh, you know, Hindus in, in, in India. So there, there are multiple layers to this whole game. And Kamran Akbar's attitude is reflective of what basically a lot of the Pakistani Muslims today think of anybody who's a non-Muslim. Anybody mm. who does not follow their religion is dispensable. 
is is right. uh, is is subject to this kind of uh, a bashing and this is this kind of insult so that's the other uh, spectrum the other side of it has arshdeep singh not been subject to trolling and blame by by indians of course you know uh, yep. the 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 just about a year ago he was equated to be a khalistani and there was so much that was said about him on social media by trolls and a lot of it was fueled from abroad again there were pakistanis involved in trying to fuel this whole thing and uh, generate this animosity and that's what data proved but it was indians who stood up and said how dare you say something like this about a player because you have yeah. good days and bad days and it was indians who stood up and stood up and championed and the next time arshdeep took the field he was cheered all along every ball of his was cheered and he was given that kind of encouragement so there is a game in social media there is a game a larger civilizational game and there is also this entire political narrative so there are multiple aspects to this i know my opening comments have been a little long but there has to be perspective for everybody to understand many in this generation don't know what sikhs have done for us our own existence is because of sikhs uh, we yeah, yeah. owe a, a, a huge portion of india especially the northwestern borders the western borders at the north all of, all of this owes our existence continuation of our parampara our civilization to sikhs and the sikhs came from every hindu household the origins of sikhi yeah. and hindu they came from every hindu household and because every hindu household and every uh, sanatani household or indian household said that we will dedicate one child and usually the eldest to the uh, to the to to sikhi because their job was to do the job of kshatriya their job was to protect And, yes. and they got all unified under a code, one after the other, after the uh, under the gurus, and each of the gurus, the latter gurus, Guru Gobind Singh, Guru Tegh Bahadur, and if you come down towards there, you would see that a lot of their work was defence. Their lot of their yeah. work was protecting Bharatiya civilization from invaders. A reference to which Harbhajan Singh himself made. Yeah. Mm. well um i completely understand uh, you know the way uh, kamran akmal made his comments because that's not the first time you know we have heard such kind of comments from former pakistan players time in again but i want to know from you do you think that these comments um you know are now increasing in number because of uh, pakistan's performance in such big tournaments because if we see this year's performance you know especially in the t20 world cup 2024 uh, united states of america defeated pakistan then team india defeated pakistan do you think this some sort of frustration and you know anger among the former pakistani players and that's why they are making such kind of comments and that's why they are making comments on social media to be in the public eye see pakistan is a blow hot blow cold team we always say in cricketing parlance and in the sports circle depends on which pakistan turns up to play match mein kya hoga depends on which pakistan turns up to play so they have yeah. had a thing of being uh, very very <coughs> <coughs> mercurial if i may say mm. and unpredictable some days they just collapse like a pack of cards some days they have heroes and the way they play but yeah. when they play india it's it's much more than a game for them you know the likes of you here what said anwar has become today he's become a rabid cleric and he's sitting in new zealand and he's trying to give advice to former cricketers and former leaders and all of that and yeah. the kind of advice that he, for him it was jihad fighting uh, batting against india he said i cannot pick up the swords i used to pick up wield the bat to hurt india to hit mm-hmm. india see mm-hmm. that's the attitude with a lot of pakistanis actually come and play they make it about religion they make it about this whole aspect of hindustan pakistan and the fact that we cannot live with you and we deserve you deserve to be quelled by us we will quell you and we will ble- we, we will hit you so so the proxy war narrative is bleed india with a thousand cuts so here they will do it and when they win they'll dedicate it to kashmir the cause for kashmir they will make it political they will bring in yeah. the religious angle to it they will bring in the quasi political uh, angle to it so so this this whole thing of uh, making it more than just a game and making it more than a competition has been done by the pakistanis for a long long time and you would see right. a lot of former pakistani players who would say that we would fight it as a war with india yeah. it's war with india there is no option to lose so the point is that what's happened in the last 10 years where india is no longer even geopolitically comparing itself with pakistan india is yeah. now 
the third, fifth largest economy, soon to be the fourth, third largest economy, comparing itself with the likes of China and USA and trying to be there at the at the high table. Pakistan today is a bankrupt nation, which is bankrupt out of you know political ideas itself. Their the, the only their their only patholo- the existence is the pathological hate with India and saying that we have to survive somehow to fight against India. So that's the political narrative, and that spills over. Quasi politicians are uh, involved. The military deep state is involved in the in the running of the PCB. Those who ply, those who are pliant and push the military deep state narrative are the ones or who are who have proximity to those within the ISI and the ISP, ISPR. They are the ones who get to become PCB chiefs. So cricket is a quasi quasi political uh, thing for the Pakistanis. And in Pakistan, only international players make money. Domestic players don't make money till the time yeah. they play a semblance of international cricket, T20 yeah. or uh, one day or test cricket. So I've seen a lot of Pakistani players who say, "Yar, ek match khila do, mere bhi, mere bhi ki shadi ho jayegi." You know, mere ghar ka chhat, uh, uski maramat ho jayegi. Jahan mujhe ek bank ke liye khelne ke liye 5000 rupees match milte hai, fir 50000 rupees milne lag jayegi. Ek match khila do, ek match khila do. So that's the status and the sorry state of affairs of Pakistan cricket yeah. domestically also. So there is a lot mm-hmm. of frustration. And today they are seeing where India is, where where India has won. So these are all small, you know, moments of uh, listen. Arey, you know, Amar Akbar Anthony ka ek dialogue hai na, Amitabh Bachchan ka ke tum humko dus punch mara, pan ham tumko ek mara, pan solid mara. So you know, that, that yeah. tole se pit gaya hum puri tarah se, but phir bhi maine tumko ek punch mara. So that's what they try and look for on the cricketing field. And on the cricket hmm. field, wahan bhi pit rahe. So there is more frustration. It is, but. Hmm. If there is a difference when a Pakistan loses to a USA, Pakistan loses to an England, Pakistan loses to South Africa or Australia, and there is a difference when a Pakistan loses to True. India, India or a Pakistan loses to Bangladesh. So that mm-hmm. there is history there, and that's the reason why it, there is it's it's far more deeper. Yeah. And I think that's why Afghanistan celebrated their victory in the ODI World Cup over Pakistan. So they were so happy when they won over Pakistan. There is a, there is, that's the Pakhtunistan and the Pashto fight. You know, a lot of Afghans believe that the current state of affairs in Afghanistan is because of Pakistan's meddling. And because okay. Pakistan offered US as a base, they created, they, they subjected Afghanistan to a civil war. They have run hmm. rough shot over a rich beautiful nation with beautiful people who are fantastic people that push them into penury and they've made that a hotbed of uh, you know terrorism because all the pakistani outfits the terror outfits fed by the isi and you know uh, you know raised by the isi have their terror bases in afghanistan to escape international scrutiny afghanistan today is bearing the brunt of this entire geopolitical war which pakistan was the base for yeah. between china russia and uh, and the usa who all wanted to control afghanistan so the Afghan yeah. people also have a lot of latent anger and when they beat pakistan the afghans are very th- very very uh, happy because there is there is a fight there is a fight as far as the durand line is concerned politically which pakistan believes mm-hmm. is the border and the pashtuns believe no all that entire area is pakistan or belongs to the pashtuns and there is no and pakistan should not have control and that's the tribal areas so that's mm-hmm. actually uh, afghan territory as what they claim so all of these things make a difference and that's why when afghanistan beats pakistan there is a they, they, you know pakistanis always look down on afghans they they talk yeah, down yeah. to they talk right. down to the bangladesh and they don't like it but these are all yeah. muslim nations these are all islamic nations yeah. understand this so among yeah. the islamic nations itself there is this entire elitism and sectarianism and mm. talking down and then pakistan stands up to say oh we are becomes of uh, you know muslim brotherhood etc etc and that all that gobbledygook so it, they stand yeah. exposed every time does it take away from the talent that pakistan has as cricketers the, it doesn't there is there are a lot of talented cricketers in pakistan who as players of the game are very very good but what motivates them to play that motivation is questionable and motivation is not mm. to ex player and do well for their country it is mm. to you know put the other country down and because mm. of there is a larger narrative there which is in the case of india driven by religion in the case of uh, bangladesh and afghanistan driven by elitism yeah right so lastly uh, would you like to um, you know give any suggestion or your comments for all the indian youngsters because they saw this comment from kamran akmal and on social media right now i can see there's a lot of hatred because all the uh, you know indian uh, social media users they are commenting their thoughts about it they are replying to this comment and 
there is some sort of you know uh, hatred on social media so would you like to say anything to the youngsters who are responding to this comment and you know they're talking about india pakistan relation see uh, bharat is a beautiful democracy and we all have freedom of uh, expression and speech but how everybody uses their freedom is up to their own wisdom if they are old enough to be on social media that means they are old enough to type old enough to read old enough to write and old enough to think so it's up to their maturity how they would want to respond to take offense and umbrage is fantastic but i would like all of them to go back and read the history of sikhi he read why sikhism is integral to uh, bharat why sikhism and sikhs have always been a problem to the to the invader mindset to those who wanted to rule by a butchery by a violence and used islam as a religion for their furthering their own brand of politics so it became political yeah. islam and sikhism has been a beacon of defense against this political islam i would request all of them to read so that we also appreciate why sikhism is integral to bharat and, and and to the to the hindu way of life that we practice here in hindustan mm. and, and and then go ahead and comment after being informed to to read yeah. rant and be rabid on social media is very easy but to read be informed and then comment i think that's what is going to take this entire discourse forward and perhaps lend weight and brevity to the discourse Well, absolutely right. Thanks a lot, sir, for joining with me You're and welcome. helping us understand, you know, the dynamics of the game, also the importance of Sikhism and the, obviously our history. Thanks a lot. Thank you. Thank you so much.